are super excited about this. One of our dreams with LLMware is that regardless of the underlying you know, source of information, the underlying source of unstructured information, we should be able to crunch it, normalize it, and to be able to access it and make it available for AI-based you know, workflows, regardless of what that underlying source type is. And all of it should be done fast and all of it should be done locally. Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a tutorial just to quickly walk through and get everybody started on a new capability that we've launched in LLMware, which is we've integrated Whisper CPP to enable, it's an integrated part of LLMware to do fast, high quality, local voice to text processing. Many of you are familiar with Whisper. It's a great voice to text model that OpenAI created and put in open source. Whisper CPP is the GGUF implementation of that model. That's actually what we've integrated. We've built shared libraries into LLMware to make it really easy and fast out of the box to get started with doing this type of voice transcription, again, as an integrated part of any other parsing or inference activity that you might do within LLMware. So the purpose of this video is just to introduce that capability and to quickly walk through the hello world of how do you get set up, up and running really quickly. What you see behind me, this is an example in the LLMware repository. It's a getting started hello world kind of example. To make this process easier, we have actually created a bunch of sample files. The sample files are all things from the public domain. Having said that, uh, they are solely for the purpose of testing this code, so don't use them for any other purpose beyond that. But what we've included are some famous quotes. You'll see those. That's actually what we're going to run through in this example. Some of the, the greatest speeches, we've done another video on that, some of the great speeches from the 20th century. We've taken a few of these YouTube videos. If you're just tired of listening to me talk and you're just like, just cut to the chase and let me read this so that you can actually do some voice to text transcription of some of those YouTube demos. Um, and then we've also put in some raw earnings calls, you know, 45 minutes to an hour long uh, voice calls that again can be transcribed um, pretty easily into text. So pretty simple sample pull down command so that you can pull all of those into your local environment and then you have some built in test documents to get started. Make sure that everything is set up and working the way that you would want. The other fine print that I would mention is we implemented these capabilities starting in LLMware 0.2.11. Please do make sure that you, you pull either from the repository or the latest version of pip install. You'll also notice that starting with 2.11, we do include um, the library Librosa, which is one of the Python libraries that's responsible, you know, associated with a lot of voice processing. So I'm gonna get right into the core of the example. Then we can come back and we can look at some of the configurations and other settings that you can enable. But here's really the core script as I mentioned, the key thing is first we're going we're gonna to load the voice sample files. This is going to pull from an S3 bucket. It's going to cache all of these files locally. Then what we're going to do in this example is we're actually going to iterate through all of those voice files, converting that voice into text. And the way that we do that is the same way that you'd use any other model in LLMware. So we've added three Whisper CPP models into the default model catalog. So for those three models, all you have to do is look them up in the model catalog by using the name that will instantiate the model. And then the only other thing you have to do is, is just run an inference on the model. Now, the interesting part about the way that we've implemented this is to call an inference on the voice model the prompt is not a normal prompt. The prompt that you're gonna pass is just the file path, the complete absolute file path of the voice file that you want to convert to text. That's what you actually pass as the prompt. So you can see we're doing that with the OS path.join of just our input file path with the name of that individual file. That's all we're doing to pass into the model. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the results from it. The way you provide the configurations are you actually manage those through the GGUF configs class. And there's a whole set of configurations that are available from the type of readout and display to other parameters about how you want to do sampling, to which model obviously you want to use, to other parameters like setting the language, segment markers, et cetera, et cetera. So all of this, again, are things that we'll get into in future examples. But for this, this is really a hello world, just to make sure that you're running the script and that everything is working. So this is plug and play. You should be able to just copy this script and go ahead and run it. So that's what we're gonna flip over and do. First time that you run this script, it is gonna pull down those sample files. 
And then here we go. You can see where we clicked through those files pretty fast. We looked at just one of the examples from the sample files, which was these famous quotes. So each of the clips are really short. It's, you know, five to 10 second clips. So all those files were actually converted into text. And you can see some famous quotes, you know, greed is good, greed is right, greed works from, you know, Wall Street. You can see a couple of quotes from James Bond from the Terminator 3 Judgment Day movie, famous quotes from you know, all, the president's, all the president's men from the 1970s. And you can see then where it's capturing distinct segments of that. Uh, you can see uh, some other sort of basic things that we had. The emperor does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation. Actually came from Star Wars, Field of Dreams. You know, if you build it, he will come. Another James Bond quote. Another quote from some famous movies from Usual Suspects, famous line from John Cusack in Say Anything About His Career Aspirations. Again, just a nice, fun, quick, easy way. Each of these files are really small. They download really fast. And so it's a great way to just test that everything is working and also to start to get comfortable with the output and how to manage that output. The output dictionary, just like any other model in LLMware, provides an LLM response. In this case, it's just the text of that transcription. Again, there's a variety of configurations of how you want to receive that text. And then the usage in this case actually is the duration of the text. If it were played as a voice file, the number of segments that it's converted into and the underlying language. So hopefully this will get you started using this. We've just reviewed one of the examples in the sample files, which is this famous quotes. It is the smallest and the shortest. The greatest speeches, there's about 60 of them. Again, the runtime is going to be a little bit longer as it's converting all of that. Likewise with the YouTube videos and the earnings calls. So have some fun getting started with this. A lot more examples coming. We are super excited about this. One of our dreams with LLMware is that regardless of the underlying you know, source of information, the underlying source of unstructured information, we should be able to crunch it, normalize it, and to be able to access it and make it available for AI-based you know, based workflows, regardless of what that underlying source type is. And all of it should be done fast and all of it should be done locally. Any questions or comments, as always, please come join us on Discord. And thank you, everybody. Take care and have a wonderful day.